Hello and welcome back to One Life Wing It with uh, Mark Whiteley and Foxy Wharton. Foxy Wharton. Foxy the best Wharton. name ever. <laughs> it is the best name ever. So, um, what we're talking about today? Um, well, I think we've like finished. Top, by the way, oh, thank you. Very summary, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. Wore it today, and the bit. sun's come out, especially for you. In fact, I can just see our, our uh, just washing a bit, in just the a background. Bit windy. <laughs> Keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Acker, did the DJ Tom's the perfect combination? No confusion. Yo, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. What we're talking well, about today? We finished on um, America, didn't we? On the tour of America and Airbnb. We were talking about, we were talking about uh, travel and and, and yeah. how to get your mind off going a two weeks in Tenerife, isn't it? That's well, what we were talking. Or just about. a two-week holiday, really. Um, every year in the middle of the summer. Can I just say this? We're not millionaires, you know. Oh my God, we're, no. We're, we're, we. We get loads of comments and get loads of emails from people saying, yeah, it's all right for you, blah, blah, blah. I, I run a theatre company and um, for the last two years, we've earned absolutely nothing just about. We, we set up a, uh, a kind of tour guide. We decided um, that the best thing to do, because we like travel, is to talk about travel. So we set up this... Um, I mean, it's, it's evolving as we speak, really. So if you watch this video in probably five years' time, it'll be very different to what it is today. But at the moment, it's a, it, uh, there's a lot, we've built lots of tours, haven't we, yeah. across the United Kingdom and a couple uh, in America. And that's it. That's our, that's our income, really. So and then we've extended it to become sort of a storytelling app as well, haven't we? We have. Not just We have, because we're quite good at telling stories, darling, aren't we? <laughs> No, no, we're talking about travel, yes, aren't we? We're yeah. talking about travel and and how important it is to um, leave that. I'm having two weeks at the, you know, the factory fortnight kind of thing, yeah, and, and get into a, a new way of thinking. And remember, this is your life. This is your life. We're talking about, you know, this is our life, and we decided to do with our life what we decided to do with our life. Your life is different, and you and you will come up because we all do, with so many excuses of why you can't do something, you know, and then maybe, so maybe it's not that, it's not for you, and... and it's not for everyone, is it? No, it's not you for know, I mean, We we'll, don't want it to be for everyone, no. because the last thing we want is to be is you travelling around, and, and <laughs> you lot tipping on, knocking on, our, on the door when we're in some blooming <laughs> car park somewhere in France, um, uh, but more of that later. So anyway, yes, uh, last thing we were talking about was was America yeah um, I I am definitely going to put my foot down about this what we should do is is we should talk about that in a, in a completely different episode okay. and, and how it made us feel and stuff because it, it was a good story mm. and it is a shame yeah but we told them about uh we told them about um your karaoke so so the next thing that we decided to do well, we had a busy year, was get married, basically. So yeah. we had a really busy year in 2017 for the rest of the year, didn't yes. we? Yes, um, Then we went, excellent. We did the you usual know. January in the Canaries. Did and we? then, yeah, we did. We were, oh, we went to that. Airbnb again. We went to a, a, a German guy who was, he was a really German. interesting man. In fact, his, his story is quite interesting because he was living in Germany. I think he worked in the... Um, uh, restaurant business or a, a cafe or it was a chef or something like that I think yeah. uh, and he retired or or decided that he didn't want to do that anymore he lived alone uh, and he must have been about 60 he must yeah, have been about 60 that's fair. he retired and decided to go and live in the country in northern France and he said this, these were his, his words he was sat there in, on this farm he bought a farm Retired, thought that that was it, and he was going to live the rest of his life on this farm. And he said, uh, one January, it just rained and rained and rained. I mean, northern France, I mean, it's like... Southern England. Southern, southern England, yeah. it's like, it gets a lot of rain. And um, it really got him down, really got him down. And he got on the phone to one of his friends who was living in Tenerife. So he decided the next, very next day, 
to get into his car with his pets and he drove south. He just drove down to... Uh, Didn't he come across in a camper van? He, he had something. He had a van or something. Yeah. And he drove down to southern... Well, it'd be around here, wouldn't yeah, it, Yeah, it would be. And he got onto a ferry uh, and crossed... I mean, I'm pointing in that general direction. I can't really show you because if I move the camera, uh, everything will go... But I'm going to move it. But th there's the sea. We, we, we lived near the sea and that's... That's the Great Atlantic Ocean. And in the distance, if you could see into the distance, you would see um, Africa. So down there is Africa and then the Canaries. So we just sailed off to the Canaries. So round here, by the way, is the Algarve, Portugal. Oh, yes, we're in Portugal, <laughs> in, the south, in the south of Portugal, the Algarve. Uh, so he, he just sailed off and he, he got to Tenerife and he spent a month in Tenerife uh, talking to different people and decided by the time he came back that he was going to sell up in France and he was going to buy two properties in Tenerife and he, he lived next door to the, his Airbnb. So so he'd kind of gone from having a big farm to having a little two little properties. But that was it. That was his How long had he been job. there when we went? He'd been he'd there been a, a long while, time. A yeah. while. I mean, he had a lovely sun terrace. You could see the sea. It was, I mean, we were, far, we were far out. We tend not to... We tend not to go right in the centre of no. things, do we? No, we don't. It's too expensive. So you just come back a little bit and... Uh, too nice. There you are. I mean, what you, what, what you save on rent, you probably spend on taxis or, or, or cars or buses or public yeah. transport. So, but, you know, who cares? You usually at a bigger place. Than, but anyway, he, he moved there and he lived in a banana plantation. An excellent life. He had an Lovely excellent life. Lovely lifestyle. So, so we stayed there for a month and that kind of... That was actually the those, last time we did that, yeah, wasn't that's it? The though? last time we went in an Airbnb, yeah. and but it, it, that that kind of you know little light bulbs go off in your head all the time. You you think to yourself, we live in Rottenstall in Lancashire, and we own a property like you probably own properties in the UK, which is worth X amount of pounds. You know, you can you could sell your house in England, and you could probably buy two houses in Spain mm, you could absolutely. I mean it depends where you buy I mean we've seen houses in fact we put a bid in last year on a house 30,000 euros and 30,000 euros this is like a place in the sun now isn't it 30,000 <laughs> euros in today's money is about what? what is it uh, 9, 18, 27, 26 grand uh, sterling so and it was Mad. massive it was huge it was massive but it was right next to a railway line that went from Straight one way to, to Seville or the other way to Yeah, really well Granada. placed, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we didn't we anyway, didn't get it. <laughs> anyway, we didn't buy it and, and the pandemic came along, so thankfully the gods shined on us. Um and talking of gods, we were you were gonna talk about this, weren't you? Yeah, well Manifesting. Manifesting things, yeah. You know, sort of taking the how, so deciding what you want, what you want to how you want to live in life, yeah. um, visualizing it strongly, um, and the important thing. What do you mean thing, though about that? Because what cause I mean I, is visualize it and let, let's that stop it's here happening. Look, we don't want to be like airy fairy. No, some kind but of I like do this. Weirdos. Yeah, well, I do this as well. I mean, we talk about luck as well, don't we? The, luck comes to those that are open and ready for it. That's what I think luck is. I mean, we have our share of bad luck, but we have lots of good luck because we go we are open and we go looking and and I, that's what I think anyway I, I just jumped you in did jump in and completely rudely interrupted me so it's I'm all sure it's about it. actually when you're visualizing it it's it's about um not hoping at all that it's going to happen it's t telling yourself it is happening and that's that so there's no question this is going to this is how you want your life to be that's how it's going to be the next crucial thing is to take the how out of it just take the how out and let it happen and it will to me I, I meditate it i bring it in and it happens and that i know it sounds all airy fairy and woo woo but it doesn't know does it look what we're doing yeah <laughs> so yeah, just, just and this is i suppose we, we were talking about this why are we recording what we're recording and we're not here to, we're not here to go oh look at us look we live here in the algarve well, you live in the Algarve today, but you know, if I'm honest with you, it's a bit too quiet, quiet for for my liking. And then 
in December, uh, in August. It, it's not. It's not there. even about that. It isn't even about that. It's literally about. It's a big world. Why are you staying in one place? Yeah. That's how I feel personally. And learning, you know. T- Travel is Travel the best, is the education, best education, education ever. Best it so education. is. Do you know, if, if I'd have never lived in Burnley, we, we talked in, in, an, in another video about us living in Burnley. We lived in Burnley for about six months, didn't we? And I wouldn't have chose to live in Burnley, but we lived in Burnley and we lived in quite an Asian area. And if I didn't li- live in that Asian area, I wouldn't have met the Asian people that we met. And I wouldn't have met the friends that I met. And I, and I wouldn't have had the opinions that I have in my head. I mean, I'm not saying that I was lucky. Full on Nazi racist before I met them because I wasn't in the slightest. Wasn't, promise. But, but <laughs> education teaches you that most yeah. people are pretty similar. You know, you know, everybody wants to bring the kids up in the best and gives them the best education. They don't, you know, they don't want to have the worst education and the worst housing. So, so like we said, edu- education and travel for me, are hand in hand. And so we mentioned that our last Airbnb, pretty much our last Airbnb experience, we've probably done a couple of bits and bobs, um, was January 2018. Yeah. Now, we'd had a caravan that was stored in North Inter- Wales for probably about five years at that point, and we yeah. we coveted a motorhome, hadn't we? Yeah. We really could see ourselves living that, that lifestyle. You know, really, as well. Because, it was, we had loads of fun in North Wales. We... This this is a this is something that's open to you now. This open to you, and this is really achievable and really affordable. We were going to take the kids to Norfolk, I think, or somewhere uh, in August, and we were going to rent a house, weren't we, for two weeks yeah. or a week? Anyway, it was really expensive, really, really expensive. And I kept looking at it; it was like thousands of pounds to rent this house, and I just thought that's ridiculous. So I literally went on eBay or Facebook or one of these, you know, marketplace type places. And I was having a quick look and I saw this old caravan and it was five or six berth. It was massive, really old, like 1990s. Yeah. And um, I bought it for 600 quid. I, I literally bought it for 600 quid. The Peugeot partner that we had then fitted a tow bar onto it. And we literally just pulled it down to... Uh, North Wales. To Conway. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then I found because of, effect, because of yeah, because of pure fluke, and because of luck, lady luck comes to people that ask or, or are open. We found this guy called what was his name? What was his name? He's, he's in Which my one? phone, and it, my heart used to sink when he rang me. Oh, it was always uh, like, oh Mark, well, oh well, <laughs> cracking man. And it, and it was next to this campsite, which is in. Uh, a little village called Langfairfecken. Clamfairfecken, double L. <laughs> Clamfairfecken, just round from Conway, and it's something like I think uh, they charge. They're all biblical names, aren't they? There was Daniel, there was uh, oh, I can't remember oh. the names now. Luke, Robert, Luke. No, no, it wasn't. Robert's not. A, I can't remember Matthew, the name. Mark, Matthew, Luke and Matthew, 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 and Mark, of course. Um, Fifteen pounds a night, and Arwell used to store it next door for a pound a night. So it cost me three hundred and sixty pound a year to have a caravan in North Wales, and I just used to ring Arwell up or one of the lads and say, "Can you just pull it round?" And that was it. Chuck the electric in. It was Kids so easy, down. wasn't it? It was brilliant, and and we could get from Manchester to Conway in let's say two or three hours. So August, you could just go down for the weekend, and you you were working then, so we were you were coming on a Friday night, weren't you? And I'd get there a bit earlier than you, settle, set it all up. Um, and then, and then you'd come, and it was, you know, <laughs> things like that. Get, get this. Stop spending so much money on ridiculousness. You know, let's let's get things into perspective, and 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 spend what we can afford, and not and not be pushed by consumerism and advertisers and and friends and next door neighbours into buying things that you can't afford. You know. Cars and things like that. Uh, and again, you know, when we talk about buying a caravan, don't go and get it on the Never Never and spend 60000 on it. That it's is so away. defeating the we just, object. We just had this yeah. conversation yeah. this week with my brother, and I, uh, I love my brother dearly. Uh, and, and I'm trying to get him to buy our, our, our camper van because he wants to go camper vanning. And he, he's got in his head, he wants to buy something expensive. Uh, and I keep saying, Darren, you don't even know if you're going to like it. You might really hate it. It's not for everyone, is it? You know, motorhoming is for some and not for others. I mean, when we bought ours, which we'll talk about in length soon, um, 
it, it, it didn't cost us an arm and a leg, did it? No. In fact, you know, again, we decided we wanted it, and it came to us. It just came to us. And, and, and <laughs> if it doesn't come, then you don't just jump in. You just go, well, we'll wait. Wait, we'll absolutely. Wait. Um, yeah. Anyway, we were talking about um, a, caravan. We yeah, caravan. about the caravan in, the north, in North Wales. So whilst we were there, of course, we were on a campsite, and um, there were lots of other people there, and we had... Uh, we, we'd, Chatting to people who had motorhomes there. We met there. that one couple, didn't we? That one night. Yeah, no, you just that reminded me of that. That was really good fun, wasn't it? It was good fun. <laughs> um, you know, no, more, more than one person. And had, we didn't had, like it actually. No, we didn't like theirs. They, we thought they, it was really pokey, didn't we? We had a big caravan, I and they and they said, "Oh, why don't you come over and have a look at our caravan?" Kind of a bit showy offy, and they were saying, "Oh, we go down to Which Spain. Is fair enough. Yeah, we do this, that, and the other." And they were kind of retired, so yeah, there were loads know, older, they were they'd obviously got money, and this, this brand new had a garage in the back, and they had a car, towing a car, and oh, everything going on. And we went in, and we went. It's all right. Can't move around. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right, and it just wasn't our cup of tea, was it? No, but uh, we we knew we knew we wanted it. one. Yeah. yeah, we knew we wanted one, but we didn't know what we wanted. We didn't know what we wanted to spend on it, whether the, we'd like the lifestyle or anything. So we just sort of sat in it, really, thinking, yes, we'll probably do that one at some point in the future. And then in the summer of twenty eighteen. Um, I was sat at my desk at work and I got... I was sat at the kitchen table at my work <laughs> and my and you brother... And you messaged me fr- a message brother from your brother. brother and said... Uh, this is the other brother, I, I, not the one we talked about before. The other brother, he's, uh, I'll put up, his name's R. White and he does really good resprays if you live in the East Midlands. I'll put his address on the... Uh, yeah. On the, so you should, should use him, he's a good lad. Um he, I don't know why he even knew we were looking for something. How we do must know? have had a, co- have I had don't a know, I can't remember, but we must have said. But he, yeah. he's, he's one of his customers who's a trader, he just obviously works in the motor industry, uh, had seen this camper van um, online at this auction and it was really old. I mean, it was 1994 Four. and it was up for. A thousand pounds. A thousand pounds it was up for. Uh, and it had a few dints and scratches and stuff. Obviously, it's 1994. Um, probably older than some of the people that are watching this. And he said, well, why don't you have a go at it? It looks all right. And, you know, he, he said, you won't, you can't lose on this. You can't lose on this. Well, I think it, sort of the, the car people and his garage is full of other people who love cars and they well, look at auctions I all the time. I learned something then. I mean, I thought I knew a lot, but you can check, can't you? You can check. Yeah. If you've got the registration number, you can check past MOTs. So he was just, my brother was just saying, well, look what it's failed its MOT on before. Which yeah. Was Lamps, There'd only been you know, ever two headlights. two owners, so you know a car, a, a van rather that's twenty four years old, and yeah. only two people had ever owned it. So you know it's there were cherished. photos, so you could tell it wasn't trashed. So Richard has skills as well, Mark's brother, and he said, "Just get it. You won't lose money on it. If you don't like it, we, we won't lose money here." So we were brave, weren't we? And we were brave. We, I don't know whether we should tell this story in this in this episode. I, I think we should skirt around it. Okay, me, and then and then and maybe, do it in one complete episode of itself. Well, it would, it would take more than one yeah, complete true. episode to tell that story, because um, <laughs> it's sat outside in the car park right now. So we'll we'll introduce, um, what do we call it? That's how long since we've driven the Plymouth. Oh, thing. we've been sat here. We're going, for we're so going, long. Are going out next week. Bacchus. Uh, we're going to Bacchus. Yes, because it's a Fiat Italian, you see. And Bacchus is the god of wine and good How times. Apt. <laughs> um, no, so so realistically, what we're saying to you in this video, if if you take anything from this video today, is think out the box, think left field, think really what you want to do with your life because it is your life, and it, it before you know it, it's gone. You know, as we've seen it during this, I think a lot of people are changing the thoughts after that. It pull, it's so. pulled everybody I up so. this awful pandemic. I, so. I mean, you've also got to think how you can earn a living on the road. Yeah, um, and we'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about how we do it later on. And then the consideration episode. that you don't have to earn much money. No. You really don't. No. Just minimise your outgoings. Stop yeah. being a consumer. Stop being. Well, a, a funny story. I, I, I was talking to. Uh, 
a young person. I say young. They were probably <laughs> they were probably early twenties. A young person. And um, I know about cars. I, I mm. bought many cars in my time, but I used to buy and sell cars in my early twenties. And my brother, he works with cars, so we, you know, I'm not shy around cars. But my philosophy is, is it? You, you don't spend money on cars. You never spend money on cars because. Because it's just dead money. At the end of the day, if you're just buying a car to show off to your next door neighbour that you've got a nice car, and you just travel, you know, one mile there and one mile back every night, then you're just wasting your money, aren't you? Really, let's face it. When you could be spending that money on travelling to Japan and having a month in Japan and having a month off work. Anyway, this young person said to me, "Oh, I'm looking for a car," and I said, "What kind of price are you looking to pay?" And they said, "Oh, no more than four hundred pounds a month." And then the penny dropped in me that that people buy cars now by the month on the never never, like it's normal. In my day, and I don't want to go into this when I were a lad kind of speech, but you saved your money up, um, and it was never more than five or six hundred quid, and you bought a car. And when that car broke down, if it was bad, too bad, you just ring the scrapyard up and get it towed away. But nine times out of ten, I mean, I bought I bought cars at auction for twenty five quid. I then sold them for six, you know, and, and you know, put an MOT on it. Well, we looked perfect. it up, didn't we, as well? And is it something like 96% of people buy a car on purchase? On the Never account? Never. What, what's it called? Yeah, yeah HP. Never Never, HP. Higher, higher purchase. purchase. So you never even own it. Well, you can own it at the end of it if you want to. Oh, it's mad, but isn't it? it? But that keeps you in a job, in a lifestyle that you don't particularly... You might do. You might love your lifestyle, but... So take this with you today. Tie yourself up. Take this with you. If you buy a car... And you can afford to walk away from it on a motorway, and, yeah. it, and it ain't going to cost you an arm and a leg. Then you've made the right choice. You have made the right choice. You know, MOTs are good enough. Services are good enough. You know, you can look at this car and go, "That's that's good enough." And 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 earn money off other people's mistakes by buying cars on on the HP. You know, if they're buying for that for top whack money here, you want to be buying it bottom money here at the same car they're only driving there and back every day aren't they <sighs> anyway there you go <laughs> that's your lesson about cars folks <laughs> yeah it's not about cars though. it's about everything isn't it, it? Is. it's about, it's about your everything lifestyle. i mean we could have bought we could have bought a you know a ten thousand pound caravan that first caravan uh and hated it had we could have had a weekend and then i've had to sell it for you know probably get nine thousand for it that's a thousand pounds I know. I've lost. I know. They can be very expensive mistakes, can't they? Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, that's about it, isn't it, I think. I, I uh, think that'll I, do I for today. I think that'll do for today. I don't even know. That's 22 minutes. 22 that seems minutes to be long. about where, where we tend to feel... Think comfortable. We have a feel, yeah, don't we? Of, we do have that's a feel. enough now. We do have a feel. So, uh, subscribe to us. Uh, tell your friends about us. Um, and come back, because we've got loads more to say. Yeah. Next time... I we'll we'll probably get into the camper, or we might not. We might start talking about uh, working whilst you're away, uh, or or the start of our journeys. Who knows what we're going to talk about? Who knows? Not even we do. Not even we do. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely week, and we'll see you soon. Take see you care. soon. Thanks bye for bye. tuning in. Bye. bye.